hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to talk about an important feature of livewire which is lazy loading of components what is lazy loading of component let's first understand that well let's say you have a page on your site where there are certain components which are kind of static in nature they don't rely on you know any kind of data being fetched from external api or maybe you know they are just normal text and then there are certain components like you know components which are making api calls to fetch data or components which are you know rendering a media an image or a video right so they will take some time obviously it doesn't matter how much you have optimized your component or your images right they will take the basic amount of time to download that asset or download the um, make that api call to fetch that data now when this transfer of data is happening right where the component is requesting something you know, the endpoint is sending the data it takes time and many times if those components are not on our viewport and by viewport i mean currently if you see the red entire thing right the browsers 0 0 to the entire height of that browser right that is our viewport so what we want is if there are certain components which are not currently visible on the viewport then don't load them for example if i have a blog where i am listing 20 blog articles on my home page and if a user comes to that page it is quite possible that he will look at the first or the second uh, blog post and if he finds it interesting he will click on that for example i'll just show you although my blog doesn't have images but let's say if someone came to this page and he never went down somewhere here he doesn't need to see those images and hence i don't need to load those images as well i don't want to waste his bandwidth and i don't want to increase the time and that's where the lazy loading comes into picture now if lazy loading is generally clear let's understand how we are kind of uh, set up this page and how will we look at the lazy loading and understand what is happening so the first thing that i have done over here is created a route called lazy and there is a live wire page component which i have which is rendering this blade file and i'm using this layout called component slash layouts dot admin if i go to that layout file which is lazy load page the blade file right you will see i have four divs the first one is page one it has a background of red color page two background blue color background green color which is loading a component and then background orange for the fourth page and all of them has 100 vh which means viewport height now as a result what happens is i see page one page two okay page three page four if i let me refresh that once more and can you see it takes time some time to load the page or maybe i'll you know do an inspect element open up the network tab okay and now refresh keep an eye over here and then we'll see the network tab as well so i have refreshed it says pending then it loaded it took about 3.04 seconds correct and if i see the response preview page 2 page 3 and then only do what your heart tells now this is a quote so let's understand what is happening on that component and why is it taking some time so basically i have this component called quote it's a live wire component and on mount i am relying on a quote service to give me a quote now, i'm not making an ajax call or a curl call but i'm just trying to make it wait and hence i have a sleep function where i am sleeping for three seconds and hence if you see the network request it took about 3.04 right so it was waiting for three seconds and then it executed i'm i'm sending a random quote from this array right now what happens then is the quote mount function calls this service function and it takes some time to load that 
Hence, while we are rendering, it is taking time. The mount function is waiting for the, you know, the service call to resolve, right? Now, as I said, because the quote is the third page, I don't need it to load right at the start. So what I can do is I'll go over here and first add a lazy attribute to it. Hit save. Now, look at the response time. It is 39 milliseconds. It loaded instantly, which is exactly what we want. And now let's look at the response that we got. Preview, page one, page two. Nothing came over here. Why? Let's see. Page two. And then something happened. And only do what you your heart tells you. So if you see, there was a new request which took 3.05 seconds. And this is where the lazy loading happened. The data was requested to the server. The server responded back with it. And then we finally rendered it. Till that point, it was waiting. If I refresh at this section as well, you will see that this will be requested immediately, but this update call will be made. So let's see. So the lazy came immediately and then the update call was made and the data was updated. But if I do from here, one more time, page two and then empty, wait, wait, and we got that. Okay. So this is how lazy loading happens. I want to also show you an interesting feature which is available with Livewire. So if you define a placeholder method in your component, then whatever is there inside that method, right? As an H if you return any HTML, you will need to return an HTML and whatever is there inside that, right? It will be rendered when the lazy loading is happening which is a very nice thing. So, you know, it allows you to play certain animations or preloaders, but can you see thinking dot, 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 and then it came up. So if you have some animations, right, at least the user will be aware that something is happening on that component and I need to wait. So yeah, that's what I wanted to cover in this video of you know, understanding what lazy loading is and how Livewire allows us to use lazy loading to render certain components on the pages when they are not on the viewport and then you know get the best performance. This is a very common requirement if specifically you are building you know front-end um, websites using Livewire or something like that because um, page speed scores will depend on how fast your page loads and if you have some components which takes time because they are you know, loading data from your database. And if that query is heavy, you are going to create a bad user experience and it can penalize you severely. And hence, it is important to get those things. And even if it is not a public website, right? Even if it is an app, if you have a SaaS application, if you have a product or you're building some intranet or a uh, you know, backend application, it just makes sense to you know, get the performance optimization if you do a lazy load that it is quite possible that you know um, on many screens not all data are required immediately and at that point you can use those strategies so that's about it guys that's what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel